Welcome to Fearless Friday. Today, I want to talk about heavy energy, okay? I want to talk about the guys who are having trouble with pulling themselves out of the heavy energy to actually go out and talk to women. And the irony in all this is that when you're feeling heavy or resistant to going out, those are probably the days that you're going to do the best. And I can, I can attest to that. The days I have the most resistance to going out are the days I do the absolute best. And so I want you guys to start to realize that getting over that hump, there's a huge victory on the other side of that. So if you guys are being taken out by your heavy emotions, let's figure out how to get you guys to be a little bit lighter so that you guys can see what's on the other side of that. Once you see that, then you'll start to realize that I'm just having a heavy emotion right now. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to go out today and kill it because I know there's something big on the other side of that. Okay. So before we kick this off, let's talk about heavy energy anyway, right? What does it feel like? Well, maybe you feel like, oh, I'm too heavy. I feel like too lethargic. I feel like I'm in apathy or too apathetic to actually go out and stop anybody. Nobody's going to, nobody's going to want to stop and talk to me. So I want you to just notice if you're having days like this, and I want to show you how I go about getting myself out of these ruts because I used to go through this a lot. I had a lot of apathy uh, around approaching and it will, it would take me out for days, weeks. Sometimes I wouldn't go out and approach Sometimes a whole month will go by and I might've done maybe two approaches that whole month. So I don't want you guys to get caught in that rut because you can kill a bunch of time that you could actually be going out there lifting those weights and increasing your social muscle. Okay. So I'll say this, if you're feeling heavy and you feel like you can't go out that day, take a couple minutes and sit with it with whatever the heavy emotion is. Notice what the emotion is in relation to. Is it a fear of going out and getting rejected? Is it a fear of people not wanting to talk to you, wanting to avoid you, completely going cold on you and shutting off on you when you're trying to talk to them? And kind of be with those emotions for a little bit, right? Sit with them, notice them, give them space. And notice in your body right now, are you getting heavier as you think about them? And if so, realize that that's okay. Let them come to the surface so you can process them the proper way. All we're looking for in this is if you get a little bit lighter as you start to allow these emotions to come up. Now, you might start having images, thoughts come up around being rejected, how harshly women reject guys, how hard you might've been rejected in the past, how scary it is, your body might bind up and resist. Let it do what it's gonna do, give it space. It's not gonna last for a long time, it's gonna last for a very short period of time, and it's gonna, then it's gonna screw off then you're gonna to start to get lighter and move up the scale. So once you've given it enough space, just kind of notice, are you finding yourself becoming 1% lighter, maybe 2% lighter? It's a form of releasing in a way, right? You're just looking for very small incremental changes in your mood. Now, if you can shift to 1% lightness, then you can do 100% lightness. All of the 1% shows us is that there's energy moving right now. Energy is shifting that low, heavy energy. You're coming out of it very slowly. Sometimes it's 0.5% or point a quarter of a percent, right? doesn't matter. As long as you feel something, that's all that matters. Stick with the emotion and what's coming up for you, right? Notice as you start to get lighter and lighter, if you start to feel this a tad bit more confident about going out and approaching, right? That's all we're looking for. Remember, if you can get a couple percents higher, you can get all the way free, okay? I do it all the time. If I'm feeling this way, I'll wake up, I'll sit with whatever's coming up. I'll get lighter and then I'll get up and I'll go out and approach. And all of a sudden it'll be like, I never even woke up light in the first place. I don't even remember. It. And remember the heavier days that you're having are probably you're going to be your most successful days when you actually go out and punch through. Okay guys. So go out this weekend, summertime, best time to do this and approach heavy, right? People are out. Girls want to be met. Girls are dressing to impress. There's no reason you guys shouldn't be out there having fun being beautiful women. Okay. If you guys are feeling heavy, Take time, allow yourself space to feel those emotions through. You know, if you're doing this at home and let's say, for instance, you feel lighter and then you drive to the spot where you're going to go do your approaching and you get heavier, take a couple minutes while you sit in your car, get it back to that light place that you're at, right? Let the emotions come up again. And then the minute you start to feel lighter, get up and get out there. Okay, guys, this is teaching you how to shift your emotional states a lot faster because your emotions are not permanent. They can be shifted if you actually allow yourself to be with the emotions, which most people don't. They just try to kind of numb it out. Instagram, Facebook, whatever they're doing, eating, just trying to numb it out and not actually process through it. This is how I've gotten past a lot of my ruts and had some really awesome days out approaching guys. Okay. So again, put in the comments if this stuff is helping you guys. I want to uh, constantly hit you with videos that are going to really improve your approaching skills. So don't forget to hit like or subscribe. And also remember, 
only if the confident really left. Peace.